Hi, everyone. Um, I just wanted to mention, um, uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys have been following our family since our reality show know that I probably know that I was a Michael Jackson fan when I was a very young boy. And uh, after the I Love Jenny uh, release party, uh, I asked my mom if we could go see Michael Starr right over there. And um, it's surreal to think 12 years later, here we are <laughs> with her star. Um, I feel like everyone knows what a talented and important figure my mother is in music. But I wanted to highlight a part of her that I feel she really wanted to be remembered for. And that's her philanthropy. My mother's greatest strength was her heart. It was her heart that drove her to, hit, um, that drove her to sing and interpret hit songs with such passion, emotion. In one of my mom's journals, she had wrote that she wanted to have answers for God and that she wanted to please him. She asked herself, what will I say when he asks, what did you do with what I gave you? I think the question played in her head very often because anyone who got to know my mom on a personal level knows how generous she was. Like when she raffled off a motorcycle to save a boy named Emmanuel, or when her fan Hector reached out to her on Twitter. He asked her if she could retweet his GoFundMe because he needed money for a hearing aid. She tweeted him back asking how much he needed and that she'd take care of it and he'd have it by the weekend. She was always looking to help someone out, not because she was looking to be seen, but because it filled her heart with joy. In March 2012, she was honored at Children's Hospital Los Angeles with a spot on the Wall of Fame for her support and donations to the hospital. At the ceremony during her speech, she said, I believe when God gives you a lot, it's our responsibility to give back. She wanted her fans to know that with what they gave her, she was able to give there. She wanted all her work to truly mean something. In October of that same year, she went back to the hospital and donated $35,000. She was in the middle of a divorce, and that was the first day in what felt like so long that I saw her truly smile again. Helping others when she was feeling sad and broken brought her happiness. That's why I think the world would be a much better place if everyone was a little bit more like my mother. I strive to have a heart like hers, and I think everyone else should too. There's countless amounts of people I got to see my mom blessed with her love, and to this day, I still hear stories that I've never heard before from fans, colleagues, friends about how giving she was and I couldn't be more proud to be her son so I hope whenever you guys all pass to see this star you think of not just her amazing voice her boldness her wittiness or her beautiful laugh but her beautiful heart thank you guys hello hello how's everybody today all right us too all right, well, thank you guys for joining us today on a, such a monumental moment in honor of my mother. Uh, on a day that we gather to celebrate uh, the accomplishments of a genre-defining artist, uh, radio personality, TV personality, philanthropist, aspiring actress, and mother of five. Before all that, she was just a little girl from Long Beach. Thank you for stealing my... Thank you. Uh, <laughs> but... Uh, and even after garnering countless fans, accolades, and accomplishments, she was always that little girl from Long Beach. Uh, she carried that pride for this city everywhere she went. It informed her art. It informed the way she carried herself in life and in business. Um, and I just can say, I can confidently say for her how proud she would be in this moment and how proud I am. Um, she instilled that pride in me for this city. Um, and some of her biggest accomplishments from the earliest to the biggest, whether it be, you know, her first concert over at the Ford Theater or the Kodak or the shows at the Gibson or even just walking with us down these very streets, taking us to eat or going to the record store. Um, this is just very surreal for me as a son. Uh, and she cemented herself in the hearts of the people of the city and her fans. And now she's quite literally being cemented into the pavement into the streets of this, this city and that's so cool for me. It's like her winning a championship or something and and she she's here in the spirit celebrating with us and um, I'm just so proud of you mom and thank you guys. Thank you. <laughs> 